hawezi kuingia ufalme wa Mungu. Kipaimara ni sakramenti yenye kumpa Mkristo roho mtakatifu na ukamilifu wa mapaji yake saba kumfanya Mkristo mkamilifu na kumfanya shahidi hodari wa Yesu Kristo mpaka kufa. Ekaristi Sakramenti ya Ekaristi ni sakramenti ya mwili na damu ya Yesu Kristo aliye kweli katika maombo ya mkate na divai. Kitubio au upatanisho. Sakramenti ya kitubio ndiyo sakramenti. The families of Clement Temoto and Albina Dindi along with the family of Sylvester Omunyo and Mama Francisca Omunyo joyfully extend their invitation to celebrate the union of their beloved children Evans Omulepo and Irene Akasabira in holy matrimony at St Teresa of Villa Kwangamur Catholic Church on Friday 1st December this year starting from 9 a.m. The ceremony will be followed by a reception at the Omulepo residence in Kotur village. The Holy Mass will be presided over by Bishop Mark Kadima of the Catholic Diocese of Bungoma and will be broadcasted to you live on Catholic News TV. Mpenzi mtazamaji wa runinga ya Kapuchin ninakusalimu popote pale ulipo tumsifu Yesu Kristo Mungu ni mwema kila wakati na daima dawamu Mungu ni mwema na ndipo sa leo hii ametuwezesha kutujalia pumzi hai mtazamaji tunapokuja moja kwa moja kutoka kijiji cha Kotur kilichopo katika gatuzi la Busia ila chini ya Jimbo Katoliki la Bungoma na himaya ya Askofu Hashama Askofu Mark Kadima mtazamaji ikiwa tumejiandaa leo hii Uh, kushuhudia wawili wanapounganika kupokea moja wapo ya sakramenti saba za kanisa katoliki na hii ni sakramenti ya ndoa kati ya bwana Evans Omulepu naye uh, Irene Akasabira na wawili hawa wamekea pamoja tu kwa mungo mmoja hivi ila wameona ni muhimu wao waunganike hapa leo hii katika kanisa la mtakatifu Teresa wa Avila uh, kwa ngamor na mtazamaji ni furaha iliyoje hapo awali tumeweza kunena naye um, bi harusi ambaye ni Irene naye bwana harusi Evans na wametueleza tu hisia zao na umuhimu walioona wa kuweza kujongea mbele leo hii na kupiga muri mahusiano yao wawili hawa uh, walikutana kama walivyotokezea kama bado wapo katika chuo uh, kikuu uh, moja akiwa eneo la Eldoret uh, moja akiwa Moi na mwingine akiwa kwenye chuo uh, hapo uh, karibia katika gatuzi la um, wasingishu na mtazamaji uh, leo hii tumejikita kambi hapa tukiwa tu tunajiandaa naona uh, kwa sasa hivi leo hii uh, sa, uh, ndoa hii itaunganishwa na sio mwingine bali ni askofu mashamu askofu makadima ambaye uh, ndiye msimamizi wa jimbo hili katoliki la bungoma na sio kawaida kwa jambo kwa askofu uh, ku askofu huyu tumeelezwa kwamba anatilia sana uzito um, maswala ya familia na kuwahimiza wengi hasa wale ambao wana wana wanahitaji kuunganika pamoja wamependana na wale ambao wanaishi pamoja tayari kama mume na mke ili ku, 
kuishi kujaribu na kujongea mbele kupokea sakramenti hii muhimu ili wasifungiwe uh, waweze kujumuika ki, uh, wakiwa huru na wengine pamoja na kushikilia nyadhfa muhimu katika kanisa katoliki za kuongoza um, makundi tofauti tofauti uh, katika imani na kuwajenga vile vile hivyo mtazamaji uh, baada ya hapa kipindi hiki tutakuwa tunaelekea nyumbani kwa kina Evans Omlepu ambapo sio mbali uh, na hapa tutakuwa tunaelekea moja kwa moja kule uh, ni kijiji tu hiki hiki cha Kotur na maandalizi hapo asubuhi tuliona kwamba yote ni shwari na mambo yanaenda sawa jinsi yalivyopangwa kufikia sasa ila ningependa tu ukaribie wewe ukajiandae mtazamaji uweze kutembea nasi tunapojiandaa kusherekea ibada hii ya misa ambayo ni ndoa takatifu kati ya Evans naye uh, akasabira Irene takuwa ni, nipo hapa nimekita kambi na wengine ambao baadaye nitaweza kudokezea ni akina nani lakini wewe usingatuke usi hapo ulipo kitakambi hapo ulipo uh, tuone ni yapi yaliopo leo tufurahie kama kawaida mnajua kuna ile kutoa maagano kuaidiana uh, daima dawamu kuishi pamoja uh, kwa upendo ni watu ambao tayari wamekuwa katika upendo ila sasa uh, wana itakuwa rasmi katika kanisa katoliki hawa ni wasimamizi mtazamaji kama unavyoona wame wamepambwa wakapambika hao kwa hivyo mtazamaji uh, ni ruhusu ni, ku, ni kuache tu endelee tunapojiandaa kuanza ibada takatifu ya misa baadaye nitakuwa na kueleza ni yapi yanayojiri
Nam E na mpenzi mtazamaji ni maandalizi maandalizi tu hapo tunarifiwa kwamba uh, askofu ameshawasili na picha unayoiona ni ya biarusi ya kitabasamu hapo amerembeka kweli kapambwa kapambika Irene akasabira leo hii Kapuchin TV tumekita kambi huku katika eneo la Kotur tukiwa tupo tayari kushuhudia uh, Irene na, huru, na na mpenzi wake uh, Evans omulepu wakifunga pingu za maisha mtazamaji na ndoa hii inaenda kuunganishwa leo hii tukitarajia na mhashamu askofu Mark Kadima ambaye ni askofu wa Jimbo Katoliki la Bungoma naona kila mmoja sura zao zinaashiria uh, wanatazamia kweli ni siku uh, bomba kabisa ni siku murwa kabisa na tunaona pia pale wapo watoto ambao pia wamerembwa kweli kweli ambao wanaongoza msafara wa biharusi uh, hao ambao wanasimamia harusi wasimamizi wakiwa wametangulia mtazamaji na tunaona kwamba sauti za ninga zikihanikiza za wanakwaya wa parokia hii ya mtakatifu Teresa wa Avila kwa kuangamora katika jimbo katoliki la Bungoma bila shaka mtazamaji hapo awali uh, kanisa katoliki linashinikiza na kushikilia ikiki kwamba ni muhimu mno uh, kuunganika kupokea sakramenti hii ya ndoa ili kufunguliwa na kuweza kujumuika na wengine uh, kikamilifu katika kujongea uh, meza ya Bwana ambayo ni muhimu ambayo ni kitovu na nguzo ya imani kanis, ya kanisa katoliki hivyo basi tungependa kukualika na ukasherekee nasi uh, ukaone jinsi uh, jamii ya wateso ilivyopo kinachovutia zaidi ni nyimbo za jamii hii ambayo wengi wao asilimia kubwa ni wateso kwa hivyo ni sauti za ninga hizo zikianikiza na, na tunapendezwa sana uh, na tamaduni zetu uh, ikiwemo lugha ikiwemo miongoni mwa vipengee muhimu vya tamaduni na tunaona hapa uh, mpiga picha ameshamulika anamulika hapa uh, bwana harusi hapa events omlepo na tunaomba na tunaona naye pia kiimba akifuatilia kiimba nao anajiweka pamoja na wanakwaya furaha na shangwe na nderemo yupo tayari kusema yes i do kuahidi daima dawamu licha ya kwamba wamekuwa wameketi pamoja kwa kipindi uh, kinachotajika ila leo hii tarehe mosi Ijumaa tarehe mosi mwezi Disemba mwaka 2023 Mwenyezi Mungu alikuwa ameridhia na alikuwa amenakili katika kitabu chake kwamba leo hii Evans naye Irene wataunganika katika sakramenti ya ndoa. Kwa hivyo tunawatakia kila laheri tunapoanza ibada hii takatifu ya misa. Naam bila shaka siku hizi naona kuna kumekuwa na idadi ya vijana wengi ambao huchelea kuingia katika maisha ya ndoa ila hapa tunaelezwa kwamba uh, vijana wanahimizana na kuelimishana na kutiana mioyo kupokea sakramenti za kanisa katoliki ili wawe kielelezo hasa kwa kizazi uh, vizazi vijavyo na sawa wale ambao bado ni wachanga na tunaambiwa hapa anaye uh, an, aliyeshika kipaumbele ni askofu ambaye anashinikiza kwamba hata kama gharama za kufunga harusi ni kubwa cha muhimu ni kujongea mbele na kuunganika na kupokea uh, sakramenti hii tunaona kwamba askofu uh, msafara wa kuanza ibada hii takatifu ya ndoa unaanza askofu makadima pale Uh, tunamuona pale nje akiwa na anaandamana 
na mojawapo wa viongozi wa runinga ya Capuchin Father Vincent Shumila uh, wa paroko wa kanisa hili la mtakatifu Teresa wa Avila Kwangamor na mtazamaji Ningependa nikuache Ujione mwenyewe wambwa mwenye macho hambi witazama na hii ndio siku aliyoifanya Bwana tuunganike na tusherekee kwa pamoja nao Evans Omlepu na Irene ambao watakuwa naunganishwa leo hii baadaye tutakuwa tunakueleza na rifuo kwamba kuna kipindi cha mapokezi kuna mapochopocho na mazagazaga kule kuna mursik eh kinywaji cha kitamaduni hivyo basi usiganduke baada ya hapa tutakufululiza moja kwa moja tunaona hapo aha ndio mitindo hii yetu ya kisasa hapo wasimamizi wakipokezana maua kwa mitindo hapo Waki, waki wana, wana, wanaongozwa na miendoko ya kipekee hapo mtazamaji asiye na wake wanasema aelekejiwe
Skofu, tumefurahia wepo wako hapa na krasmi tunakukaribisha utuongoze kwenye hii misa ya ndoa kati ya bwana Evans Omlepu na B Irene Omunyu karibu sana baba Skofu Kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu. Amina. Amani iwe kwenu. Na iwe rohoni mwako. Ndugu zangu, tukiri dhambi zetu ili tupate kustailishwa kuadhimisha mafumbo matakatifu. Na munga mia mungu mwenyeze. Na nyingi ndo kuzango. Kwa nyingi mneko sando. Kwa mwazo. Kwa maneno. Kwa mtendo. Na kwa kutumiza wajibu. Nimeko sa mimi. Nimeko sa mimi. Nimeko sa sana. Dio mana na kuomba maria mwenye heri. Biki la daima. Malaika na watakatifu wote nani ndugu zangu niombeeni kwa Bwana Mungu wetu Mungu Mwenyezi atuhurumie atusamehe dhambi zetu atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele
Tuombe. E Mungu, wewe ulipomuumba mwanadamu, ulitaka uwepo umoja kati ya mume na mke. Waunganishe hawa watumishi wako kwa kiungo kimoja cha upendo ambao wataunganishwa na agano la ndoa wawe wewe umewapa kupendana uwape pia kuwa mashahidi wa mapendano hayo kwa njia ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristu mwanao anaishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa roho mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele Nataka kumfanyizia msaada wenye kufanana naye. Bwana Mungu akawafinyanga kwa udongo wa nyama wote wa porini na ndege wote wa angani. Akawaleta mbele ya mtu ili aone ataita majina gani. Na wote walio na uzima waitwe jina lile atakalo waita. Mtu akawaita majina yao wanyama wote wa kufugwa, ndege wa angani na wanyama wa porini. Lakini hakuonekana msaada wa mtu wenye kufanana naye. Hapo Bwana Mungu akamtia mtu usingizi mzito. Naye akalala, halafu akatoa ubavu wake mmoja, akatia mahali pake. Bwana Mungu akaufanya ubavu aliyoutoa katika mtu kuwa mwanamke, akamleta kwa mtu hapo mtu akasema sasa huu ni mfupa kutoka mifupa yangu na nyama kutoka nyama yangu huyu ataitwa mwanamke maana ametawaliwa katika mwanaume kwa sababu hiyo mwanaume atamwacha baba yake na mama yake naye ataambatana na mke wake nao watakuwa mwili mmoja neno la Bwana
Saburi ya kuitikizana. Heri kila mtu amchae Bwana. 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 Heri kila mtu amchae Bwana.
Bwana awe na Wakati ule mafarisayo wali mjongea Yesu Waka mjaribu kwa maneno haya Je, ni halali mtu hamwache mkewe kwa kisa chochote nabi harusi nimeambiwa hapo tulipokuwa tunaingia niliuliza majina ni nani father kaniambia mume anaitwa Evans na mama anaitwa Evelyn Irene sijui Evelyn nilitoa wapi was <laughs> asante na hongera sasa baba eh, paroko wa hapa eh, Eh, Harrison eh, Joseph Oyoma au Joseph Harrison Oyoma sijui which one comes first <laughs> na vile vile na furai sana tuna our elder in the priesthood hapa eh, father Martin eh, Erapu you know he is our elder in the priesthood yeye alipokuwa anapata upadirisho in 1987 i was in first year philosophy mabanga kwa hivyo father we are honored that you have kept the faith and you are still running along with us even faster than us in the faith <laughs> na mapadri wengine vile vile ningependa eh, kutambua kwanza kabisa eh, parish priest mpya wa ni wapi huko kaliwa tuna parish priest wa kaliwa hiyo huyo anaitwa Father Alphonse mengine hiyo nimesahau ni nani we? sasa kaliwa ni parish na you know ukiwa na parish priest huko is when it's a parish okay yes. yeah okay sasa ndio huyo mumlinde vizuri vile mnavyolinda huyo okay yes. na mapadre hata mmeona mwenye amimba hapa vizuri sana mapadre na washukuru sana kwa kuwa hapa mkiwa hapa sisi tumealikwa na father OJ yani ujilongo 
huyu. Hata <laughs> nilisoma leo anaitwa vile vile emoto. Sasa Father Moto tunashukuru sana kwa kuwa umetualika hapa tuhudhurie hii sherehe ambayo imefana sana kwa sababu ni rafiki tu ambaye anaweza kukualika wakati wa furaha okay yeah. wengi wanataka uende huko wakati e ndio utoe mchango lakini leo <laughs> leo sisi tunakula tu hata ameniambia father bishop please baada ya misa kuja nyumbani i am going nikula <laughs> sasa lakini sasa kabla ya fanya hayo yote masomo haya mawili ya kwanza na shukuru sana kwa wenye walichagua haya masomo kwa maana yanaambatana sana na ndoa okay umuhimu wa ndoa Somo la kwanza limetoka katika kitabu cha mwanzo la pili katika e, injili takatifu ilivyoandikwa na Yohane. Na yote hayo mimi naona kulingana na vile mimi navyo chambua, no? Chambua ndio interpret ama nyo. Muna nicheka tu lakini naendelea. Sasa vile mimi navyoona Leo tunaambiwa okay vipingamizi vya ndoa nini inavunja ndoa ni kitu gani kinavunja ndoa na leo tunaambiwa ni kulingana na haya masomo ni vitu vitatu ambavyo vitavunja ndoa na visifunje ndoa la kwanza Yesu Kristo anasema ni moyo mgumu yani uchoyo Mmenielewa? Yeah. Utoi kitu mfuko always nothing. Sasa utakuwa namna gani? Mmenielewa? Yeah. Ugumu wa roho. Unakaa na mwenzako upeani kitu chochote, usemi kitu chochote, uongei kitu chochote, unaongea na nani? Mmenielewa? uchojo Kwa hivyo ukitaka ndoa iendelee kuwa mkarimu. Okay? Sema unaenda wapi? Simu nana nakupigia. Viatu nane amekupatia. Mnaniona? The other day nilikuwa nasoma it when you are a hunter and you come back home with a goat you are a thief <laughs> ukiwa wewe ni mwindaji wa wanyama wa pori na unarudi nyumbani na mbusi wewe ni mwezi baba <laughs> <laughs> na mbusi <laughs> sasa nyumbani mpaka wakuulize na huyu mbusi umetoa wapi ni wa nani sivyo <laughs> wakikuuliza hapana anza vita hiyo ni moyo mgumu mnanielewa kwa hivyo tusiwe wachoyo tuwe wa karimu nunua nyama nunua nguo e, toa kitu nenda ufanye kazi hapana kila siku sina 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 mama atakula nini watoto watakula nini hiyo <laughs> ndio inaoa ndoa uvivu ndio unaleta uchoyo uchoyo ndio inaleta uvivu na hiyo inavunja ndoa mnanielewa yeah. bas la pili ambalo linavunja ndoa wanasema hapa okay ni binadamu wengine sio amesema yenye ame amenganisha Mungu mwanadamu asenganishe eh waacha watu wakae vizuri waacha vitina waacha udaku wewe ndio unaua ndoa za watu eti nimeona fulani Nimeona akiongea na nani? Nimemuona wapi? Wewe na uwando. Waacha, waacha ongane wenyewe. Mnanielewa? Ni sisi ndio kipingamizi tunaua e, wengine. Tafuta wako. Kila siku unaona mwenzako amevaa vizuri, amekula vizuri na tumbo, ndio unataka. E, e jaza wako. Mnanielewa? Aya, la tatu la tatu 
ambalo linavunja ndoa kulingana na haya ni e, i, kufikiria ya kwamba ni yako wewe mwenyewe hapa tunaambiwa haya ni vi, hii ni vitu vya Mungu Mungu mwenyewe ndiye anayepanga okay Mungu ndiye anakupatia mwenye ulie naye okay marriage is from god sio wewe tu kuamua peke yako na unasema i marry when i want i marry who i want and where i want hapana hiyo wanasema wanaoana mke na mume hapana wanawake wawili na wanaume wawili hapana hiyo hakuna mnanielewa na wanasema ni kwa maisha yote sio it for some time until i see this there is no condition so marriage does not have conditional love that nakuoa ikiwa utanipa hii utanipa hii utanipa hii utakuwa hivi uongo punda wewe oape maisha asante asante <laughs> tukae kimya kidogo tukae kimya kidogo tutafakari yale ambayo tumesikia tuombe Mungu atujalie kuyashinda na kuyashika basi baada hayo mahudiri ya kusisimua sasa tunataka kuingia ile sehemu ya ndoa yenyewe ile the right of marriage na tutaanza kwanza e, kwa kumwalika e, bwana harusi aweze kujongea mbele akisindikizwa na wazazi halafu e, bibi harusi ataletwa ili apokelewe na mumewe wametoroka mwaka
sasa analetwa mbele ya altare sijaendelea nilikuwa nimesahau kuambia kwamba tangu niwe askofu 
eh, hii ndoa ni yangu ya kwanza ya yeah. tangu nilikuwa tu mpaka sasa ndikuwa tu na mass weddings yani sasa hizi leo za watu wengi lakini vile ninavyokumbuka hii ndiyo ya kwanza ya watu wawili peke yao okay so uh, it is very close to my heart okay asanteni na wengine mtengeneze tena nikuje nakuja ndugu zangu wapenzi mumefika hapa kanisani ili mapendo yenu yapate kutiliwa muhuri mtakatifu wa bwana mbele ya mjumbe wa kanisa na mbele za watu waliopo hapa Kristo anayabariki sana mapendo hayo na kwa sakramenti hii ya pekee anawaenemesha na kuimarisha hao aliokwisha kuwatakasa kwa ubatizo mtakatifu ili waweze kudumisha uaminifu kati yao na kutimiza shughuli nyingine za ndoa ndio maana na waoji mbele ya kanisa juu ya nia yenu J Evans na Irene Mumefika hapa kufunga ndoa pasipo shurti kwa hiari yenu na kwa moyo radhi Ndio Ndio Je muko tayari kuishi maisha ya ndoa kupendana na kuheshimiana siku zote za maisha yenu Ndio Ndio Je Muko tayari kuwapokea kwa mapendo watoto mtakaopewa na Mungu na kuwalea kama ilivyo sheria ya Kristo na kanisa lake Ndiyo. Ndiyo. Basi kwa kuwa mwakusudia kufanya maagano ya ndoa takatifu shikaneni mikono ya kuume na kuonyesha kukubaliana kwenu mbele ya Mungu na kanisa lake. J Evans unampokea Irene awe mke wako tena waahidi kuwa mwaminifu kwake katika taabu na raha katika magonjwa na afya umpende na kumheshimu siku zote za maisha yako Ndio J Irene unampokea Evans awe mume wako tena waahidi kuwa mwaminifu kwake katika taabu na raha katika magonjwa na afya umpende na kumheshimu siku zote za maisha yako Ndiyo. Ukubaliano wenu huo mlioonyesha mbele ya kanisa Bwana na audhibitishe kwa wema wake apende kuwasidishia wingi wa baraka zake Aliounganisha Mungu mwanadamu asiyatenganishe.
Bwana azi bariki pete hizi mtakazo vikana ziwe ishara ya mapendo na uaminifu amina Mwenzangu Irene pokea pete hii. Mwenzangu Irene pokea pete hii. Iwe ishara ya mapendo yangu na uaminifu wangu kwako. Iwe ishara ya mapendo kwangu kwako na uaminifu wangu. Kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu. Amina. Mwenzangu Evans pokea pete hii. Mwenzangu Evans pokea pete hii. Iwe ishara ya mapendo yangu. Iwe ishara ya mapendo yangu. Na uaminifu wangu kwako. Na uaminifu wangu kwako. Kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. God's blessings. Okay. And you also. Thank you. ndoa mbele ya macho yetu e baba ulia asili ya kila ubaba uwape hawa bwana na bibi harusi neema yako e bwana twakuomba twakuomba usisikie wawe umoja katika roho na mambo yote wasikae pamoja kama bwana na mjakasi bali wapendane kama Kristo alivyopendana na kanisa lake e bwana twakuomba twakuomba wavumiliane na kuzoeana kwa saburi na mapendo wasali pamoja na kuombeana kwa Mungu e bwana twakuomba twakuomba wale watoto wao vyema na kuwapeleka kwa Kristo. Waukabidhi wajukuu mila za wazee zilizo njema. E bwana twakuomba. Twakuomba Nyumba yao iwe kanisa ndogo. Familia yao iwe msingi kwa taifa. E bwana twakuomba. Twakuomba Salam Maria. E Mungu uwasaidie hawa Evans na Irene watu wa ndoa watumie daima neema za sakramenti wasimfungulie shetani mlango hata mara moja waishi vema na kusali pamoja ili bwana Yesu aweze kukaa kati yao maisha yao yote tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu
tunaleta pamoja. Kwa hivyo tutakuwa na nafasi na wakati mwingine wa shukrani. Kwa hivyo tulete kwa wamo moja. Karibuni.
humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Salini ndugu ili sadaka yangu na yenu ikubalike kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. E Bwana, tunakuomba uvipokee vipaji Tunavyo kutolea kwa ajili ya kutakatifusa agano la ndoa na kile ulichoanzisha kwa wema wako ukitunze kwa majaliwa yako kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu Amina. Bwana awe nanyi na awe rohoni mwako inwe ni mioyo tumeinua kwa bwana Tumshukuru bwana Mungu wetu Kweli ni vema na haki tendo la kufaa na la kuleta uokovu. Tukushukuru wewe daima na popote. E Bwana Baba ulie mtakatifu, Mungu Mwenyezi wa milele. Wewe umeweka maagano ya ndoa kwa nira bora ya mapatano na kifungo dhabiti cha amani ili upendo safi wa ndoa takatifu ukuongezee watoto wengi. E Bwana, kwa maongozi yako na kwa neema yako, unapanga haya yote mawili kwa namna ya ajabu. Kwamba kama vile kuzaliwa kwa mwili kunavyo ijaza dunia, kuzaliwa kwa kiroho kuliongeze kanisa lako. Kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na malaika na watakatifu wote twaimba wimbo wa utukufu wako tukisema bila mwisho
Bwana kweli umtakatifu na chemchemi ya utakatifu wote. Tunakuomba uvitakatifuse vipaji hivi kwa nguvu ya roho wako ili viwe kwetu mwili na damu ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Yeye alipotolewa na kuingia kwa hiari katika mateso yake alitoa mkate, akashukuru akaumega na akawapo wafuasi wake akisema Tuaini mule nyote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akitoa kikombe na kukushukuru tena aliwapo wafuasi wake akisema Tuaini munywe nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya na la milele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maendeleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu fumbo la imani Tunapoadhimisha ukumbusho wa kifo na ufufuko wake mwanao tunakutolea mkate wa uzima na kikombe cha uokovu tunakushukuru kwa kuwa umetustailisha kusimama mbele yako na kukutumikia pia tunakusii kwa unyenyekevu ili kwa kushiriki mwili na damu ya Kristo tukusanywe na roho mtakatifu tupate kuwa jamaa moja E bwana ulikumbuke kanisa lako pop, iliyoenea popote duniani ulikamilishe katika mapendo pamoja na baba mtakatifu wetu Francis na askofu wetu Mark Kadima na wakalero wote E bwana wakumbuke pia watumishi wako Evans na Irene ambao umewajalia 
waifikie siku ya ndoa yao kusudi kwa neema yako wadumu katika kupendana na amani Uwakumbuke pia ndugu zetu waliofariki dunia akiwa na tumaini la ufufuko na marehemu wote waliofariki dunia katika huruma yako wapokee kwenye nuru ya uso wako Tunakuomba utuhurumie sisi sote ili pamoja na Maria Bikira mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mme wake huyo Bikira mitume wenye heri mtakatifu Teresa wa Vila somo wetu na watakatifu wote waliokupendeza tangu kale tustahili kushiriki uzima wa milele na kukusifu na kukutukuza kwa njia mwanao Yesu Kristo kwa njia yake na pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa roho mtakatifu unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele Amen. kwa kulitii agizo la mwokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe Mfalme wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupeleo mkate wetu wa kila siku utusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyowasamehe na sisi walio tukosea usitie katika kishawishi lakini utuokoe mauvuni E baba uliye mtakatifu uliumba mtu kwa mfano wako mwanamume na mwanamke uliwaumba ili kama mume na mke waungane katika umoja wa mwili na wa roho na kupata kutimiza jukumu lao ulimwenguni E Mungu ulitaka kanu lile ulilopenda kufanya na watu wako lionekane katika upendano wa wana harusi kusudi utufumbulie mfano wa upendo wako ulitaka hivyo ili maana ya sakramenti hii ikamilike na fumbo la ndoa la Kristo na kanisa lionekane wazi katika muungano wa ndoa wa umini wako tunakuomba uwaonyeshe kwa rehema mkono wako wa kiume hawa watumishi wako Evans na Irene na kumiminia nguvu ya roho mtakatifu mioni mwao e bwana uwajaliwe hawa wanaoanza kuishi muungano wa sakramenti hii washirikishane mapaji ya upendo wako nao wakisha wakinyoshana ishara ya kwamba wewe upo kati yao wawe moyo mmoja na roho moja e bwana uwajalie pia ili nyumba wanayojenga waitengemeze kwa matendo mema waweke tayari kupokelewa katika jamaa yako ya mbinguni upende kwa jasa na watoto ili kufurahisha nyumba yao kwa mapendo safi na uyapambe kwa neema na upole e bwana wasaidie pia hawa watumishi wako wote kwa baraka za mbinguni waweze kutimiza kama ilivyopaswa wajibu wao kama mume na mke waaminifu kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu E bwana twakuomba uwapokee katika maovu yote utujalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu 
kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tuopolewe daima na dhambi wala tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heri na ujio wa mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo kwa kuwa ufalme wako E Bwana Yesu Kristo uliyowaambia mitume wako amani na wacheni amani yangu na wapa usitazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako unaishi na kutawala milele na milele Amina. amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi na iwe rohoni mwako tutakiana amani thank you thank you so much Tazama mwana kondoo wa Mungu. Tazama ondoe dhambi za ulimwengu. Heri yao aliyalikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoo. Sala kabla ya komunio. Sala ya ima 
imani. Yesu Kristo mwokozi wangu. Na sadiki huko kweli katika hatari hapa. Na sadiki kwamba nitapewa sasa hivi mwili wako na damu yako pamoja na roho yako na umungu wako na sadiki kwani ndiwe mwenyewe uliyetueleza amina
Bwana kwa nguvu ya sadaka hii usindikize kwa fadhili zako ulichoanzisha kwa maongozi yako ili hawa uliowaunganisha katika muungano mtakatifu wajalie wawe moyo moja katika mapendo kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu Bwana awe nanyi. Mungu Baba wa milele. Awaifadhi katika umoja na mapendo kati yenu. Kusudi amani ya Kristo ikae nanyi na idumu daima katika nyumba yenu. Amina. Mpate baraka ya watoto, faraja ya marafiki na amani ya kweli na wote. Amina. Muwe mashahidi wa mapendo ya Mungu ulimwenguni. Kusudi wenye huzuni na wahitaji wafaidi ukarimu wenu. Na hatimaye kwa moyo wa shukrani waopokee katika makao ya milele ya Mungu. Amina. Nanyi nyote mliokusanyika hapa Awabariki Mungu Mwenyezi, Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Amina. Misa imekwisha nendeni na amani. Anaomba waweza kuketi. Mungu ni mwema kila wakati na kila wakati basi tunamshukuru sana Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutuwezesha kwa hapa na tunamshukuru sana baba askofu kwa kutuongoza kwenye misa hii ya ndoa e, kati ya bwana Evans na bi Irene na vile baba askofu alisema hii ndo e, ndoa ya kwanza anayofunga anayeongoza ya bwana mmoja na bibi mmoja zingine kwa zinakuwa za jumla mass wedding kwa hivyo mko na bahati sana nyindo mmefungua kwa jimbo mzima <laughs> basi ndugu mapadri na washukuru sana kwa kufika hapa kwa Ngamor siku hii ya leo Nashukuru watawa wetu na nashukuru waumini kutoka sehemu mbalimbali wazazi wa bwana harusi na wazazi wa bi harusi kwaya pia asanteni basi nitachukua muda mfupi e, kwa tambulisha watu e, wachache e, kwanza nitaanza tuna watoto misa simameni 
Bunge mkono. Asanteni sana. Hao kwa majale wake Mwenyezi Mungu atakuwa mapadre na masisters miaka ijayo. Nimeona mseminari moja seminarian eh, Gabrieli Asanti aya walimu katekis wetu Asanteni sana wengine wako kule basi kulikuwa na sisters at least I'm sure kulikuwa na wawili watawa wetu uh, kuna sister Kale pale na sister Pamela eh, pale santeni basi anaofuata ni ndugu mapadre eh, dinari ya misehu kama tunaweza kutoka misehu dinari yon father dismas mukudi wa naitiri Ad... dinari ya bungoma ah father pia yuko hapa father fred <laughs> Asante wanakaa na fadha kule Naitiri. Asante sana. Kibabi Dinari. Uh, kuna fadha Collins hapa Mlunda wa Muhwe. Netima. Kuna parokia mpya inaitwa Netima. Aya kuna Bungoma. Bungoma Dinari. Kuna fadha Martin Erapo wa Kimatuni kuna fadha Jeremiah Manuni wa Cathedral huyo ni my classmate Santi kuna fadha Cleophas na Hero Kabula kuna fadha Saverius Erbot Mianga Aya twende nangi na dinari kuna fadha Leonard Ekisa wa Bumutiru kuna fadha Fidelis Akeba wa Buhui na yeye ni schoolmate wa bibi harusi tena village mate <laughs> Asante aya sasa mkura dinari mapadri wa mkura kuna fadha Francis Ekisa wa Bulanda kuna fadha Bramwell Idewa wa mkura kuna fadha Alphonse Hisa wa Kaliwa <laughs> yeah? Wendo parish priest manyanga sana. Asante. Yeah. <laughs> Na mimi pia Father Joseph Harrison Oyoma wa Kwangamor niko amkura dinari. Asante <laughs> sana. Bas kabla kuketi nitamwalika Padre Fred ambaye pia ni anko wa bwana harusi. Ajanene machache. msifu Yesu Kristo kwanza nina furaha kubwa kuona kwamba hao watoto wangu wamepata ndoa ya matrimonio baraka kubwa baba askofu asante kwa kukubali kuwa pamoja na familia yetu kwa hii sakramenti ya matrimonio licha ya kasi nyingi kwa jimbo baba skofu asante thank you so much na mapadri wenzangu wachache ambao niliweza kuwafika wakaitikia kufika asante kukuja kushuhudia uchungaji kifamilia Najua kwamba saa nyingine si rahisi kwa familia zetu lakini chat begins where at home. Thank you so much mapadri ambao umekuja kushuhudia hii na kuomba pamoja. Thank you so much priests. Na tena nilipoanza upadri wangu askofu alinituma Kisoko Parish nikafanya kasi na fada Martin Rapu samwa senior most hako hapa na kweli nilikaa na padri na amani kubwa na tuka tukaanza kushirikiana na tukaanza na urafiki kubwa kuanzia hiyo siku paka sasa 
we have never parted, Father Martin Erapu. And the bishop, he has been a big support for me in my priesthood, Father Martin Erapu. Na shukuru mwenye simungu, na I don't know ni vizuri kuishi vizuri kuparukia yota ambayo unaenda. Ilipokuwa magombe, nikapata watoto wadogo ambao wako hapa, ndiyo nikapata padri dismas tafalali padri. I, I recommended him to go to the major seminary. Na leo hi, askofu makakadima amenipea kukuishi na yeye. So, hi ni baraka kubwa. Na si tu naishi na yeye, kuna wakristo pia kutoka na itiri, ambao wachacha umefika hapa wakristo na itiri wa simame. Wachache hao ni mwona mefika. Tukewa na mwenye kiti kule. Fante sana. Na uwa kristo kwa jumula. Ambao wamesimama na kelement. Na vile vile wa familia kutoka chakolo. Asante kwa hii shere. Asante kukuja kusimama na kijana. Asante kwa hii baraka. Na mini kwamba hii sherehe imefungua mambo mengi hapa tutakuwa na ndoa nyingi hapa na nashukuru nyinyi kuitikia kuja kusimama na familia ya Clement nashukuru sana Mungu aweze kuwabariki askofu huyu Clement yeye ndio alinilipia school fees huyo Clement. Pengine watu wengine hawaelewi yeye ndiye alifanya magani. Leo ni mimi ni padri kwa sababu ya jasho lake. Alifanya wakati huo pesa yake kidogo dogo aliwekea mimi nikawa padri vile niko wakati huu. Na baba ambacho nimesoma there is always paying back huyu Clement mwaka wa 2020 aligojeka sana lakini aliniomba i go and nurse him in Agahan nikakaa na Agahan for three weeks nikikilala chini nikasema kwamba maybe this is what god wanted to show that you paid my school fees now i'm paying back to you also through being kind to you na na hii ndio pengine wito kwamba you know you do something good there is a way god will pay back that goodness you are doing na ndio maana nimeona nisimame hapa nitoe hiyo ushuda kwa sababu ya kazi mzuri kelement pongesi asante congratulation wewe kuona watoto wako wakikuja kwa altari na kuona na familia ya yeah, mtoto wangu msichana Irene asante kwa kupeana msichana wenu hapa naamini kwamba tutaleana kwa imani na mambo mazuri yaendelee mwisho caption tv asante caption eh, tv is alive everywhere hii sherehe is aired live asante kwa kuja kukava hii ceremony na vile vile kuhubiri kuhubiri mambo mazuri Thank you so much. God bless you. Asante ni sana. Basi naomba radhi kwa baba askofu na kwa padre. Nisahau kumtambulisha padre mmoja ambaye ni muhimu sana kwenye hii sherehe ya leo. Tafadhali padre Nuka. Huyo ni Father Vincent Shumila wa Caption TV. Samahani sana padre asante na pia ah, kuna mwingine kuna fadha leo pia anajua anajulikana kama the semascus huyo ni wa benedictine eh, fathers ama benedictine monks asante sana na samahani basi kufikia hapo tumetamatisha eh, program 
Ahoko. Eh, huwa sisemi maneno lakini leo ningependa tu kusema eh, tarehe 20 tarehe 18 tulikuwa chelele muko tukao huko na 48 marriages tarehe moja mwezi wa kumi na moja tulikuwa Tongaren tukawa na 51 marriages tarehe mbili tukawa Maliki tukawa na 60 marriages cathedral kwa ngapi 20 27 eh nani anaandaa ingine nani aliniambia wewe nani aliniambia <laughs> no one of you told me huyu april, e, april yeah. eh sasa eh now you've gotten the point yes. eh inte, kwa maana kwa kilatini wanasema intelligence ya pauka ukiwa intelligent you don't need a lot of explaining ameelewa haraka huyu alikuwa mwanafunzi wangu unaona malasri karula yako salaki sasa sasa huyu ameelewa ya kwamba i want marriages here okay sasa natembea huko huko i am coming here for marriages anza kuandikisha mkono juu nani yes nakuja okay asanteni sasa nilivyowaambia father oj yano jilong aliniambia niende nyumbani kwa Clement kula kwa hivyo naenda na nyinyi vile mkule okay kila la Harry Evans na Irene ambao wameunganishwa tu sasa hivi the newest couple in town na tunawaambia waishi vyema ndo wazi yao ikajengwe kwa misingi thabiti hapa tum, tumemwona askofu Makadima akiongoza uh, misa hii akiwaunganisha wawili hawa na kuwafanya kuwa kitu kimoja sasa hivi Evans na Irene sio wawili kama walivyokuwa hapo awali wameunganika na kuwa kitu kimoja na katu sote tumeomba kwamba uh, asi tenganishwe kivyo vyote vile uh, na hivyo basi um, mtazamaji tumeona kwamba uh, ibada hii ya misa ambayo imeongozwa na askofu wa Jimbo Katoliki la Bungoma Mark Kadima uh, pamoja na paroko wa parokia hii ya mtakatifu Teresa wa Avila hapa eneo la Kotur kwa Ngamor na pia tumekuwa naye um, uh, mjombake Uh, tumekuwa naye mjomba mjombake Evans uh, ambaye ni 
tumekuwa naye mjomba wake uh, bwana harusi ambaye ni Evans Omulepo ambaye anafahamika ni padri anafahamika kama padri Frederick Ojulong Emoto na imekuwa tu ni shangwe mtazamaji na nderemo na hivyo basi mtazamaji hivi sasa tumekamilisha tu awamu ya kwanza ya kuwaunganisha harusi kumbuka kuna awamu ya mapokezi uh, ma- maandalizi kama alivyokuarifu pale mwanzo yamekuwa yapo ange kila kitu kipo shwari kule nyumbani kwa uh, kwa kina Evans na hivyo basi ni mengi ambayo yanatusubiri uh, huko tuliko ile tu kukuwakumbusha vidokezo vya leo hii katika homilia ya baba Skofu Makadima ni kwamba uh, vitu vinavyosambaratisha ndoa katika jamii ya kisasa ni pamoja na uchoyo au ubinafsi na hivyo ametuimiza kwamba tuwe watu wa moyo wa kujitolea tuwe wa karimu na la pili likiwa ni binadamu kwa hivyo wawili Evans na Irene sasa hivi wameunganishwa. Wewe usijaribu kivyo vyote au kwa njia yote ile kuingia kati yao. Maana muungano wao sasa hivi umeunganika sio tu kwa mbele ya macho ya binadam bali pia hata kule mbinguni. Na tatu kutotilia manani kwamba ndoa ni mipango ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Hivyo basi uh, endapo wapo ulipo nia yako ni siku moja nawe uwe kama Evans na Irene leo hii muunganike kwa njia inayopaswa kwa sheria za, kim, za Mungu na za kanisa fahamu kwamba wakati wa Mungu ndio mwafaka na Mungu anapopanga katu hakuna mwanadamu au kiumbe chochote ambacho kinaweza kikapangua kwa hivyo tutietilie manani matatu haya tukizingatia uwezo na nguvu za utatu mtakatifu ambayo tunaishikilia ikiki katika imani ya kanisa uh, katoliki mtazamaji na sasa hivi ningependa tu ni kueleze kwamba tunaelekea huko na hivyo pia tuta tutaweza kuja tutakujia pia moja kwa moja uh, tukuelekeze ni yapi yanayotendeka maana kule pia uh, kuna ratiba ambayo tutaishuhudia ningependa tu kwa sasa ni washukuru uh, baba askofu tulikuwa naye pale jana kule uh, ndalu uh, na leo hii pia amekuja huku katika kijiji cha Koturu kaunti ya Busia ile ni jimbo la Bungoma uh, kuwaunganisha Evans na Irene nimekuwa na kundi zima ambalo pia tutaendelea uh, tunaelekea moja kwa moja nalo uh, kukupeperushia sehemu ya mapokezi ambayo wanaita reception na naona pale kina Frederick Ocheng ale na Ndiva Simiu pale Isaac James Nganga naye pia amekuwa nani yule mwingine Joseph tumekuwa na Joseph Mwendwa asanteni sana nami ya Sasha Elizabeth na washukuru ila baadaye nitaweza kusema nao maharusi wetu ambao wameunganika leo hii huko upande wetu wa kipindi cha pili hivyo usingatuke tutachukua tu mapumziko nawe tunakuruhusu upige tama la maji alafu baadaye tuunganike katika kipindi cha mapokezi Capuchin TV Forward ever backward never let us move ahead and so on Even children kuna kitu tunaweza kufanya ili kanisa iweze kumetameta Endelea kutazama Capuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki and i pray for tho- all those who are in the caption tv they have helped us to know the word of god we normally see them in the caption tv and uh, i'd encourage many other congregations to join hands to help them 
so that they can send their celebrations, they can request them to come and uh, air their celebrations in the TV. And that's the only way we can join hands with the Capuchin TV. I'd like to urge the, uh, the you know, congregations of sisters all over and the priests all over and the brothers, wherever you are, please come let us join hands together and help the Capuchin TV so that we can see them grow because it is not easy. Left alone, they cannot manage. But if we, sh we hold hands together with them, we are going to preach the gospel of God. We can also advertise our talents, whatever we have. If we have uh, like dressmaking schools, we have secondary schools, primary schools, we can, we can contact them and they'll help us to advertise and then we are going to grow together. Thank you so much, Capuchin TV and the Capuchin priests and brothers and may God bless you in a very big way as you celebrate your celebrations. We are together with you. parent or guardian in search of a perfect environment for your daughter's academic journey? Look no further than Beatitude Girls High and Junior Secondary School, located at the heart of Maragua in Muranga County. Beatitude Girls High is not just a school, it is a home where education meets excellence. The expectations are that uh, the girls who will go through the, uh, the formation here will come out here with the qualities of the Kingdom of God. Proudly owned by the Catholic Diocese of Muranga and skillfully managed by the Ward Incarnate Sisters, we provide quality and holistic education for girls. To bring up these young girls, to educate them, to mentor them, we are three kilometers from the main road. This creates a conducive environment for the girls and our vision also is to expand so that the, the, the school can grow and accommodate more of our girls. At Beatitude Girls, we go beyond the textbooks. Our students enjoy an all-round academic experience, engaging in co-curricular activities that nurture their unique talents. The school has become a hub of academic excellence earning a well-deserved reputation for outstanding performance in various fields. As a faith-based institution, Beatitude Girls High offers favorable and flexible fee payment plans, ensuring that every deserving girl has the opportunity to receive an exceptional education. We welcome students from humble backgrounds with open arms. The Grade 7 and Form 1 admissions are ongoing. Seize this golden opportunity. Enroll your child today and watch her blossom into a confident, knowledgeable and compassionate individual. For more information about our intakes and entry requirements, contact us at 0716-501-704 or 0722-489-809. You can also send an email to beatsgarshigh at gmail.com. Secure your daughter's future with us today. Welcome to Beatitude Girls High School Muranga, where we learn to love as we love to learn. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Microfinance Bank imejitolea muhanga kwa kuwawezesha wa Kenya kupata fedha kwa urahisi ili kujenga rasilimali na kujiendeleza. Maisha ya jamii yamebadilika na kuimarika. Msingi wa jamii ni utulivu wa familia iliyoimarika. Ukiwa na mradi unayohitaji kuimarishwa, tuna utu. Karibu zungumze nasi. 
Caritas Microfinance Bank. Imarika, Imarika we. Nini Cottage Mission Hospital is a medical center of choice. The hospital offers 24-hour profound and holistic outpatient and inpatient services. We are equipped with modern medical facilities. Our services are patient-centered, delivered by friendly and compassionate staff. We are a NHIF accredited and we also accept covers from major insurance providers and schemes. We also have MediClaim Cover, which covers AON for the teachers and the CIC for both Kenya Prison Police Service and the National Police Service. Our ambulance services are available round the clock. Visit Kiminini Cottage Mission Hospital today. We are strategically located at Kiminini Town of Kitale Webuye Highway. For more information, contact us on 0723. 644 or email us on kiminini hospital at yahoo.co.uk or visit our website at www.kiminini cottage hospital.com. Kiminini Cottage Mission Hospital. We treat God Hills. Welcome to St. Ursula Girls Boarding Primary and Junior Secondary School, nestled at the heart of Nguviu in Embu North Sub County, the epitome of academic excellence for your child. Our commitment to providing superior education goes beyond the ordinary, focusing on holistic development through the infusion of Christian values and morals. Experience a learning environment where dedicated teachers passionately impart knowledge supported by the state-of-the-art facilities that foster both academic and personal growth. At St. Ursula, we believe in nurturing not just students but future leaders and our emphasis on sports ensures that your child not only excels academically but also develops self-esteem and creativity. Grab the limited spaces for your child today. Vacancies are available from grade 4 to 6 and junior secondary school. Reach out to us at 0723-153-941 or 0112-937-093. St. Ursula Girls Boarding Primary and Junior Secondary School. Effort is success. This festive season, see more on Star Times. Enjoy four fantastic new channels to kick off the holiday spirit. Hey kids, jump on board for more laughter and adventure on Boeing. Wow, amazing. Explore the wonders of the world on the Discovery Channel. You'll be at the edge of your seat with the gripping intrigue of true crime stories on the ID Channel. Get some cake and a party hat as you enjoy live out loud lifestyle shows on fascinating families and heartwarming transformations on TLC. Renew your subscription today. Watch the big match, catch up on the news. Enjoy our new drama series Pink Ladies 
and the latest movies. Sing along to your favorite tunes to keep the good times rolling. See more, be more, do more. Star Times. Enjoy digital life. In the heart of the Catholic faith lies a profound and sacred journey, one of service, devotion, and unwavering commitment to God's call. This journey, known as the vocation to priesthood and diaconate, is a testament to the enduring spirit of those who dedicate their lives to serving the church and its people. On Saturday, the 2nd of December this year, at the Holy Family Minor Basilica, eight men of God will be ordained, three as deacons and five as priests. In the realm of diaconate, Seminarian Wilson Minor from Our Lady of Assumption Kamba, Seminarian Anthony Makaumbidi from Blessed Sacrament Catholic Church Buruburu, and Seminarian Gabriel Gathungu from Martyrs of Uganda Parish Gatondo. In the realm of priestly ordination, Deacon Robert Chris Ndongo from St. Patrick's Parish Thika, Deacon Joseph Njorogen Juguna from St. Peter and Paul Kimbo Parish, Deacon James Ngige Moura and Deacon James Moura Munio from St. Teresa of the Child Jesus Ngenya Catholic Parish and Deacon Silas Kanyara from Holy Family Githunguri Parish. The Holy Mass will be presided over by His Grace, Most Reverend Philip Agnolo, Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Nairobi, starting from 10 a.m. This celebration will be live on Capuchin TV and across its social media platforms. Capuchin TV extends a heartfelt congratulations and may the grace of this sacred moment fill your hearts with unwavering dedication. As you step into the divine calling of ordination, may the light of God's love guide your path and may the blessings of wisdom and compassion accompany you in your sacred journey as men of God. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity channel. <laughs> The Lord is my shield, in Him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart exalts, and with my song I give thanks to Him. On the second day of December 2023, the Little Sisters of St. Francis cordially invite you to the Diamond Jubilee of... Sister Venetius Mune of Our Lady Help of Christians Kanzalu Parish in Machakos Diocese. I end at the Sirica of the Little Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi. In 1958, and now I am very happy that I have come to celebrate the 60 years of working for Jesus. And I am very happy you people be happy with me because it is not easy to reach this age. We had many, we were many, but only three of us are left, which means God takes and God takes and God takes. 
and they have seen that we are fit to celebrate it this place, in this place. Sister Bibiana Kemunto of St. Charles Luanga Cathedral in Kisi Diocese. From our first profession to now, 60 years, we thank and praise the Lord. We are three of us Kenyans, the rest are in Uganda. We are Sister Benancius, Sister Virginia, and Sister Bibiana. We thank God for keeping us all this time. Sister Virginia Ngira, Our Lady of the Lake Magombe Parish in Bungoma Diocese. The Silver Jubilee of Sister Joyce Wanjiru of the Holy Rosary Mukeo Parish in Nyahururu Diocese. Sister Pauline Mumbua of St. Peter and Paul Kilungu Parish in the youngest Catholic Diocese of Wote. Sister Cecilia Wangeshi of St. Josephine Bakita in Mai Mahiu, Nakuru Diocese. Sister Margaret Nyamoita who hails from St. Teresa's Nyangusu in Kisi Diocese. Sister Bridget Chelagat of St. Veronica Keringet Parish in Nakuru Diocese. And the perpetual profession of Sister Mary Jacinta Akello. Sister Mary Josephine Mumbua. Sister Mary Bada Amondi. Sister Mary Naomi Kerubo, Sister Mary Sally Kodoso, Sister Mary Cecilia Mbaluka, Sister Mary Caroline Wangeshi, Sister Mary Damaris Mukua, Sister Mary Ruth Kemuma, Sister Mary Irene Angaser, Sister Mary Janice Kiyoko, Sister Mary Victoria Mudeo Nzuki, Sister Mary Lucy Ndinda, Sister Mary Edith Chepkemoi Koech, and Sister Mary Anastasia Kaleve. The Holy Mass will commence at 10 a.m., presided over by the Most Reverend Bishop Maurice Mohatia Makumba of the Catholic Archdiocese of Kisumu. The celebration slated to be held at St. Clair's Parish in Kasarani, Archdiocese of Nairobi, will be aired on Capuchin TV and its corresponding social media platforms. Capuchin TV congratulates the Little Sisters of St. Francis and all the sisters who will be marking their Diamond Jubilee, Silver Jubilee, and the sisters who will be taking their final vows. May God bless and guide you throughout your vocational life. We welcome you all to come and celebrate with us this day as we thank the Lord for the life he gave us since we began our journey of formation to this time as we prepare to make our perpetual profession. So, welcome, celebrate with us as you join us in thanking the Lord. Karibuni sana wa Kristu wa mtakatifu Clara Kasarani na wale wote ambao watakuja kujiunga nasi kutoka parokia zetu mbalimbali all the parents of all our brides, we welcome you in a very special way. Karibuni sana. Simama imara katika imani Usiogope, usiogope Usiogope tulia katika maombi do not be afraid, do not be afraid, do not be afraid, so strong in faith. Keep watching Capuchin TV for your Catholic identity. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord 
and my spirit exalts in God my Saviour. Luke chapter 1 verse 46 The superior general and the entire community of the Sisters of Mary of Kakamega invite you to the perpetual and fast profession of their sisters. In the realm of perpetual profession, Sister Mary Susan Shikanda from St. Peter's Mumia's Parish Kakamega Diocese, Sister Mary Anna Rose Kadondi from St. Augustine of Hipositumi Parish, Taroro Archdiocese, Sister Mary Phyllis Chebeta from Holy Angels Sipi Parish, Taroro Archdiocese, Sister Mary Catherine Nabulo from Christ the King Budandiri Parish, Tororo Archdiocese. Sister Mary Goreti Abeja from Sacred Heart Kogelak Parish, Soroti Diocese. Sister Mary Monica Karinge from St. Matthias Molumba Matunda Parish, Kakamega Diocese. Sister Mary Jessica Isendi from All Holy Angels in Heaven, Lutonyu Parish, Kakamega Diocese. Sister Mary Jacqueline Shikuku from St. Paul's Ejinja Parish, Kakamega Diocese. Sister Mary Vivian Okelo from St. Mary Immaculate Kisoko Parish, Bungoma Diocese. Sister Mary Edinambehelo from All Angels in Heaven, Lutonyi Kakamega Diocese, and Sister Mary Jean Onchari from Our Lady of Assumption Nyamagwa Kisi Diocese. In the realm of first profession, Novice Mary Biaki from St. Andrew Kagwanya Siongo Parish, Kisi Diocese. Novice Maureen Awur Owit from Sacred Heart of Jesus, Reru Parish, Kisomo Archdiocese. Novice Topista Akech Nasimiu from St. Joseph Butula Parish, Pungoma Diocese. Novice Faith Kerubo from Our Lady of Assumption, Yamagwa Kisi Diocese. Novice Grace Anyule from St. Patrick Lufumbo Parish, Kakamega Diocese. Novice Sharon Imachudi from St. Joseph the Waka Kuchulia Parish, Bungoma Diocese. Novice Mary Wesonga Mulongo from St. Mary Magdalene, Kimatuni, Bungoma Diocese. Novice Diana Nangila Barasa from St. Mary Magdalene Kimatuni Parish, Bungoma Diocese. Novice Betty Sabei from Nyabururu Parish, Kisi Diocese. Novice Doreen Asimwe from Our Lady of Soros, Bukwali Parish, Fort Porto Diocese. Novice Rebecca Aguti from St. Kizito Kane Parish, Soroti Diocese. Novice Sylvia Mugide from Our Lady of Assumption, Bugitimua, Tororo Archdiocese. And Novice Agatha Mlati from St. John the Baptist Oseri Parish, Moshi Diocese. This celebration will be held on Friday, 8th December this year at the Sisters of Mary of Kakamega Motherhouse Grants Mukumo. The Eucharistic celebration will be presided over by Right Reverend Joseph Obani Sagwe, Bishop of Kakamega Diocese, starting from 10 a.m. This celebration will be live on Capuchin TV and across its social media platforms. On this joyous occasion of celebrating the perpetual and fast profession of your beloved sisters, Capuchin TV extends warmest wishes and heartfelt congratulations to the entire congregation. May these sisters continue to be a beacon of light, spreading love, compassion, and hope wherever they go, and may the blessings of the Almighty be showered abundantly upon the Sisters of Mary of Kakamega. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity channel. <laughs> Washington.
trending story. In a remarkable and unexpected turn of events, for the Jesus Maris Carl, the parochial vicar at St. Paul Cathedral in Yakima, Washington, found himself Monday 20th November delivering twin baby boys for a homeless woman in distress. What started as a quick trip for donuts turned into a life-changing moment for Father Maurice Carl when he had the pregnant woman's urgent cries for help near the cathedral grounds. Acting swiftly, he dialed 911, assisted the woman in giving birth to the first baby, and faced the challenge of delivering the second, who was still enclosed in the amniotic sac. Undeterred by the lack of tools, for the Maurice Carl successfully brought the second baby into the world but encountered a tense moment when the newborn wasn't breathing with umbilical cord wrapped around his neck. Displaying remarkable composure and quick thinking, the priest tapped the baby on the back until he started breathing. The surreal experience left for the Maurice Carl reflecting on the symbolic setting dressed in clerics, holding a newborn amidst the shrine of Our Lady. Despite being late for marriage preparation meeting, he texted the engaged couple with a surprising apology, explaining that he had been assisting a woman in delivering twins. The incident not only highlights the extraordinary circumstances under which Father Marie's Carl demonstrated courage and compassion, but also draws attention to the broader issue of homelessness in Washington state. With over 25,000 people considered homeless in a single night in January, the story serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges faced by marginalized communities. The hope is that this heartwarming yet challenging tale will spark awareness and discussions about the social and political conditions surrounding homelessness, as emphasized by Akima Bishop Joseph J. Tyson. Well done, Padre, for your impact beyond the altar. Sala ya kuombea sinodi ya maskofu. Tunasimama mbele yako ewe roho mtakatifu, tunapo kusenyika pamoja kwa jina lako. Wewe peke unaye tuongoza, weka maskani yako ndani ya nyoyo zetu. Tufundishe njia ya kupita na jinsi ya kuenenda. Sisi ni dhaifu na wenye dhambi, usiruhusu tuendelee kuchochea machafuko. Usiruhusu ujinga utuongoze kwenye njia mbaya, wala utepetevu usiadhiri matendo yetu. Utuwezeshe ndani yako tuwe na umoja ili tuweze kusafiri pamoja hadi uzima wa milele. Wala tusipotee mbali kutoka njia ya kweli na iliyo sahihi. Tunaomba hayo yote kwako wewe ufanyae kazi kila mahali na kila wakati. Katika ushirika wa baba na mwana, milele na milele. Amina. It has been an incredible 120 years since the foundation of the Congregation of the Daughters of the Sacred Heart and a century since the founder Sister Maria Teresa Nunzo ascended to glory. This marks a special year for the DSH sisters and here is their warm invitation to their four-tire mega celebrations. I want to take this chance to welcome each and every one of you to celebrate with us, to pray with us, to thank God for those many years that of grace that he has bestowed upon our congregation, Daughters of the Sacred Heart. For our six sisters who will be celebrating their silver jubilee and we appreciate who they are and their journey. As we celebrate a hundred years since our foundress entered heaven and 120 years since the founding of the congregation, 
You're welcome to join the Daughters of the Sacred Heart and thank God with me and my other four companions as we celebrate 25 years of faithfulness in religious life. I'm very happy because the Lord has been very faithful to me together with my other sisters whom we are celebrating the Jubilee because the time we started our journey we were able to work together we were able to be supported by the congregation by our families and by the well wishers and for this far that we have reached we feel very grateful at the same time we have six also of our young sisters who will be taking their perpetual vows thanking god for the journey they have made and appreciating the formators and all those spiritual directors, all those who have journeyed and accompanied all those sisters. I'm Sister Victoria Moeni Moeya, a daughter of the Sacred Heart. We have our perpetual vow celebration on 2nd December this year. My group mates are Sister Penina Wavina Moli, Sister Mary Kimata, Sister Agustina Swai, Sister Nancy Sidi. Sister Teresia Cavo Michael The celebrations will take place on Saturday, 2nd of December 2023 at their provincial house in Karen, Nairobi. Mass will start at 10 a.m. East African time, presided by His Lordship George Mudaka, Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Garissa. I take this opportunity to welcome you all to our celebration. Welcome all. Let us celebrate together. Come and share in the joy, the achievements, and the legacy of faith that reaches far beyond Kenya, extending its warmth to the entire world. We ask you to walk with us, to support us, to pray for us. Pray for our congregation that we may continue to live out the charism of our foundress, which is charity in simplicity and humility. What I like most about this life is that I have ample time to be with the one that I am married to, Jesus. I have ample time to also serve him and his grace is sufficient. It has never been bankrupt and I'm I'm so sure that even in the future this will go on. Capuchin TV congratulates the daughters of the Sacred Heart for embodying the spirit of charity, simplicity and humility, much like the Franciscan Capuchin Friars Minor. To the sisters slated to celebrate their silver jubilee and perpetual profession, may God continue to illuminate your spiritual light, shining brightly for the entire universe to see. Stay tuned to Capuchin TV, your ultimate destination for the Catholic identity programs. Christianity. In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. For this is the law and prophets. Islam No one of you truly believes until you wish for others what you wish for yourself. Judaism 
What is hateful to you do not do to your neighbor. This is the whole Torah. All the rest is commentary. Baha'i Faith Lay not on any soul a load that you would not wish to be laid upon you and desire not for anyone the things you would not desire for yourself. Buddhism Treat not others in ways that you yourself would find hurtful. Hinduism This is the sum of duty. Do not do to others what would cause pain if done to you. This is who we are. We are shepherds of God's flock. We are pastors, servants of God's people. We are KCCB. Somo katika kitabu cha kumbukumbu la Torati. We are fishers of men, priests in the order of Melchizedek. Somo katika injili livyoandikwa na Marko. Inasonga mbele injili. Kaeni mle wote, huu ndio mwili wangu nitakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu. Awabariki Mungu Mwenyezi Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu We are brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ We are consecrated We are religious men and women Ah CMA we are men of action we are commission we are CWA we are women of faith we are soprano and alto we are tenor and bass we are voices of praise and worship on the praise praise morning when the storm was rolled away on the resurrection morning Jesus rose to life again we are youth for Christ. House 47. Ascent Monica product. We are YCA. We are MYM. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. We are PMC. We are liturgical dancers and artists. We are baptized. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We are confirmed. We are married. We are marriage encounter. We are couples for Christ. We are ordained. We are one faith, one hope, one baptism. We 
Gawan Holy Catholic Apostolic We are the Catholic Church. This is who we are. Prayer for the missions. Lord Father of our human family, you created all people equal in dignity. Pour forth into our hearts a fraternal spirit and inspire in us a dream of renewed encounter, dialogue, justice, and peace. Move us to create a healthy society and a more dignified world, a world without hunger, intolerance, poverty, violence, pandemics, and war. May our hearts be open to all the peoples and nations of the earth. May we recognize the truth and beauty that you have sown in each one of us and thus forge bonds of unity, common understanding and shared dreams. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed Pauline Marie Jericot, pray for us. <laughs> Prayer for our earth. All-powerful God, you are present in the universe and in the smallest of your creatures. You embrace with your tenderness all that exists. Pour out upon us the power of your love, that we may protect life and beauty. Fill us with your peace, that we may live as brothers and sisters, harming no one. O God of the poor, help us to rescue the abandoned and forgotten of this earth, so precious in your eyes. Bring healing to our lives, that we may protect the world and not prey on it, that we may sow beauty, not pollution and destruction. Touch the hearts of those who look only for gain, all the expense of the poor and the earth. Teach us to discover the worth of each thing, to be filled with awe and contemplation, to recognize that we are profoundly united with every creature as we journey towards your infinite light. We thank you for being with us each day. Encourage us, we pray, in our struggles for justice, love, and peace. Amen. This prayer was published in Pope Francis Encyclical Laudato Si. It is for all who believe in God, who is all powerful Creator. <laughs> Majilio ni mwanzo wa mwaka mpya na kipindi cha matayarisho ya kuzaliwa kwake Yesu Kristo. Jumapili tarehe tatu na Dominika ya kwanza majilio mwaka ba wa kanisa katoliki Runinga Kapchin tutaungana na umini wa kigango cha mtakatifu Andrea katika parokia mtakatifu Yuda eneo la Donholm dekania au Charing kwenye jimbo ku katoliki la Nairobi katika adhimisho la sherehe ya kifamilia Ibada ya misa takatifu itaanza saa 4 asubuhi ikiongozwa na mwahashamu David Kamau askofu msaidizi wa Jimbo Kula Nairobi. Kumbuka matukio yote ya sherehe hiyo itakufikia moja kwa moja kupitia runinga uipendao na kipekee kikatoliki hapa nchini pamoja na mtandao wetu wa kijamii. <tune> Maria, I'm not in school.
Endelea kutazama running ya captain kitambulisho chako katoliki In the heart of the Catholic faith lies a profound and sacred journey, one of service, devotion, and unwavering commitment to God's call. This journey, known as the vocation to priesthood and diaconate, is a testament to the enduring spirit of those who dedicate their lives to serving the church and its people. On Saturday, the 2nd of December this year, at the Holy Family Minor Basilica, eight men of God will be ordained, three as deacons and five as priests. In the realm of diaconate, Seminarian Wilson Minor from Our Lady of Assumption Kamba, Seminarian Anthony Makaumbidi from Blessed Sacrament Catholic Church Buruburu, and Seminarian Gabriel Gathungu from Martyrs of Uganda Parish Gatondo. In the realm of priestly ordination, Deacon Robert Chris Ndongo from St. Patrick's Parish Thika, Deacon Joseph Njorogen Juguna from St. Peter and Paul Kimbo Parish, Deacon James Ngigi Moura and Deacon James Moura Munio from St. Teresa of the Child Jesus Ngenya Catholic Parish and Deacon Silas Kanyara from Holy Family Githunguri Parish. The Holy Mass will be presided over by His Grace, Most Reverend Philip Agnolo, Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Nairobi, starting from 10 a.m. This celebration will be live on Capuchin TV and across its social media platforms. Capuchin TV extends a heartfelt congratulations and may the grace of this sacred moment fill your heart with unwavering dedication. As you step into the divine calling of ordination, may the light of God's love guide your path and may the blessings of wisdom and compassion accompany you in your sacred journey as men of God. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity channel. <laughs> The Catholic Church speaks. Kama maskofu wa Kristo, kanisa katoliki, kukashifu ile miundo ya maisha ambayo hayambatani na familia. So we condemn and condemn and condemn and reject ideas of LGBTQ plus minus and uh, multiply and so on. Go, call it what you want. You go to hell with it. And an ayo. Haisaidi familia. Haijengi familia. Na hakuna mahali ambapo tutasema tutakubali. We respect human beings. Human dignity. But of course, we must separate the actions that don't give us that dignity. And therefore we say no to such things. And Christians, you must stand firm. The Catholic Church speaks. Capuchin TV. And forward ever, backward never. So move ahead.
ahead ahead endelea kutazama kapuchin tv kitambulisho katoliki is a priest among us how can he be identified to be a priest what should he do what kind of work will define him that is what the readings are talking about today and to me I see four elements four characteristics that will distinguish you as a priest Am I clear? Am I clear? Four characteristics, four ideas, four ways of life, four examples. Mifano minne ambayo mukiishi hiyo mutatambuliwa, mutatambulika, mutajitambulisha kama mapadre. Okay? The first one. The first one comes obviously from the best and the only formator. All of us only imitate him, try. That is Jesus Christ. He tells us when he sends his disciples, he tells them how they should behave in order to be identified as apostles. And in short, what it means, how when we look at them, what he tells them is what will identify us. The first thing he tells them is, obey without conditions. Have you heard me? Okay? Go where you are sent and work without giving conditions mnacheka he says it kiswahili amesema msibebe nini umsitafute mkoba ujali pesa nguo uende huko uanze kupika kelele viatu chakula nini no conditions kusema i am going there if this is there or I will not go there because this one is not there am I clear that is Jesus talking or am I the one he says go obey don't give conditions where you are sent you go go and work 
That is what Jesus Christ is telling us. And my brothers, my advice, I have always lived this, and I am happy to share with you. I have always believed, and I believe and have practiced, that no place makes me. I am the one. I'm the one. Yes, I'm the one. Every place where you go, if it is not a paradise, turn it into a paradise. I believe in that, and I've always done that, and I share it with you. Do not think that you have to go to this place, or that parish, or that apostolate, or that. No. Stop complaining. Am I clear? You make the place good. Who do you want to make it good for you? Nana Tengenese. That you want to go where it has been made, somebody has worked hard, kuna kitanda uko, kuna nyumba nzuri, kuna maji, kuna nini. And wewe, never wake you. That is why you are going there. And today, I am happy and sincere to report to you, six, that in this diocese, I have been here for one year and a half, and I've not seen a priest who gives me conditions to go anywhere. I have not seen. They all go, and you tell them, go and live at your neighbor's place, build the place, and they say, Bishop, thank you very much. You love me. They go. So you are joining. <laughs> Nobody gives conditions. That is the priesthood, the Presbyterium you are joining. Of obedient priests who don't give the bishop conditions, who are only looking for places where others have made for them. They go there and make it. Carry on that. Am I clear? Are you ready? Are you ready? Then I can ordain you. Secondly, you will be distinguished as a priest. You will be known as a priest. If you follow what St. Paul is saying, St. Paul says there are many gifts. There are many talents. There are many responsibilities. But all of them must work. Not overburdening one, it is the work of a priest to promote and to work with the talent. What St. Paul is telling us, I want to tell you the most important thing about a priest today is to be able to work and live with other people. Am I clear? Teamwork. Kufanya kazi na wenzako na wengine. Mahali popote ulipo, don't do it alone. If you do it alone, you are called a dictator. If you eat alone, you are called king. <laughs> so, kula na wenzako, if you get something... Be generous. Share it. That is what St. Paul is telling us. That we are all gifted differently. But we need one another. In other words, whatever you have been given, the talent you have been given, the job you have been given, the duty you have been given, let it improve and help other people. Eat with others. Share. If you are receiving a bit more, peana kidogo. Uyu padre mungina naishi hapo, apati kitu. Give him something small. It's not bad. Sema nimetembea uku na uku, nimepata kitu, ata uyu kula kidogo. Do you understand me? Teamwork is not only work, ata ni mfuko. Are you with me? Ni mfuko. That is also teamwork. 
ushirikiano na usongamano na nini nyingine na na ushikamano, ushikamano na u, 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 ukarimu na umfuko inaweza ikawepo hiyo <laughs> <laughs> ni kukaa na kufanya kazi pamoja am i clear yes that is the priesthood if you are that then you will be known as a priest you will define yourself as a priest you will say i'm father so and so and it is known that you are father so and so because you know you can eat with others you can share with others you can contribute to the well-being of other people okay thirdly according to this from the book of isaiah the third element that will define us as priests isaiah is telling us and isaiah is talking about jesus christ and jesus christ is the one saying he says i have been trusted and he defines what he was told to do it's a beautiful song okay for those of you who went to school with me it was a beautiful song he sent me to give the good news to the poor to the prisoners no more there's blind people that they can see And everyone they knew that you hear that now that is what is needed for a priest a person who says trust me okay someone who can be trusted that is what Jesus is saying this is what i was told to do and i am doing it sijaanza kazi yangu Are you getting me? Padri ni mtu ambaye anaaminiwa. Anaambiwa vitu, anapewa vitu, anapewa watu na anachunga. Not a person who tells lies. Anasema I'm going to Misiku market na anapatikana kamkujwa. No. He is told go and help in this parish hapa he has assigned there anaenda kwingine where there is more pocket money No kaa kwako <laughs> Ukitaka kutoka huko pata idhini Hapana kutembea tu tu huko there is more pocket money Kwa mwaminifu La nne ambalo lita define us as priests from Jesus Christ A priest is a gentleman. See so listen my view. No. Ah, nyinyi mna nane na kana. So listen. When you go, go where you have gone. Sit there. I don't complain. Eat what you have been given. Even if they don't accept you, don't start quarreling. See so listen. Go there when you reach the road is when you rub the feet like in uko ndani usianzie matata uko. You are a gentleman. Okay? Thank you. Wana mwambia Timotheo aliyekuwa mwanafunzi wake katika mambo haya. Akamwambia mwanangu vumilia nami kwa ajili ya injili. Na alisema haya akikuwa gereza. Bali kulene de kumsambwa kwa kwa wa hafu ni hira muningiro zo kuhoriwa. Ah haba kingita isa horiwa. Kingita ya hozita yoda. Ba ko ni kwa ajili ya haya na horiwa hali ko nulisi ya muningiro. So kwa So kwamba Paula alikuwa anamshauri huyo kijana Timotheo kwamba mwanangu mwanafunzi wangu vumilia nani kwa ajili ya injili vumilia linda imani vumilia na alisema hivyo na hakuishi muda mrefu na akafa basi Timotheo akajifunza kwa huyu jamaa akawa mvumilivu kama huyu mzee 
So ilikuwa usia wake kwamba huyu kijana avumilie, alinde imani, avumilie, aeleze injili. Na vile vile pia sisi tukitaka kufaulu lazima tuwe wavumilivu. Kwa hali ya habari. Kwa sababu mvumilivu hula Kwa hali ya habari. Kumoyo kumula kwa kilengo yako na wewe. Wewe mara wazi ya ya hali ya vumilivu. Hata kama ni maisha ya ndoa lazima uvumilie. So wewe hali ya nyota hata wali bareba hapo mai muliano ngane wacha mungu ni mwacho Yesu kunyo wachira ne bahoro la bele ufana ngofano ni bali wela ya akola kamba yawe kero mwana wiki miaka 15 mungu ni mwamwamile uira mwindi akola mane kamba ni bahuri na tena kweze kana lechile kuno kwamba Lazima uvumili uvumilivu hula mbivu there is no perfect husband there is no perfect wife we live in the world of participation kwamba sisi wote ni wapungufu na no one is perfect again ni mwagaza bali oti majeza akolari akuata bali we nyomze jumla again ga mbewa Sisi wa wazizi wote bali kuna gani goku na gabora kwa harusi yetu Kwa kwa pumula da ni hali ni habari Ya wazizi wao holori ongo Hali ni hamai ndo bana ho mundu gundi azera fa ale suti nda ima es suti yo men suti peke yake 40000 vira ro 15k handi kajifu 10k selinge wa ogale kulo ngwo mza ho ndo bana oli wagano ndi ndo bana ho mzetu ya ro mbo vimonda ha kenda Oliwele ata hali kamba hongo yu hana anafa ula Neni kwa wali nende tisha di aseno Chisila jemu tisha di aseno Lucha hafa ili Jemu yu kwa kufa ula kwa Kwa hali le hako Mufumilivu ula Kwa hali le kambayo Nagino luko hakata Kambayo ye hali le ni wa mambo ngapi wanajivunia wazee wao na vituko vyao hivyo tu kama usita homo na munga mkono juu eh sio homo na munga ikuru wangapi wanawavumilia hao watu kwa sababu ya watoto mkono juu Bali zibasira baba ana ta na na bali kula ne bawa ne we panga ta eh e wanu wali wo kikuwa mama na wana mtoto wa miaka 10 na wanataka apeleke mahindi sosio mahindi iliyokauka kwa gorogoro apeleke dada yake na hakuna piko Uta, utapimia ye gorogoro ngapi ndi afikishe sosio kutoka hapa Kumi mtoto wa miaka 10 utampatia utamp, utamp, ngapi 1 na 2 2 na ukimpatia 10 sio kosi dada wewe bali beka hosi maka hopi milo mza huru hali weza ni wonya baba hapa wasi mwanzo na wewe hali ni hapo tuvumilie injili iende mbe ya hata pia leo tuna tunasherekea baba baba mzazi wa Steve na mama baada ya kuwe hadili ka adiulia papa nende mai mulioko ngi baba mwate ko bisanja mbona ka kuwe hadili ka mwalinda wa ndai festive kana andisa ya hadi makimi bana mbona ndali shababu 
Mamlinda Bula Castle Mabula, I said, I don't have a moon and moon, a mind of your moon or sun. Who believe? Now, so I let Samo Kiviona be nailed in the fire and in him. No one about the whole of the hair, they win him. But my other ho, a wungul, very co beaky nama, and a tunga sherry. So, Bamana sings here. On about the whole of the hair, the nobles who be a very hard day, as well, but never be so my way, how did the homes are home lay in bow? Pia was a fear of Milia, Madame Well. Was the one guy on the one a juvenile, Madame Wow, Navizanivia, we go to Mkono Ju. Na mai bro ile wewe wa huko beba mkono unaangalia kama anabeba. Sasa hapo there is no perfect wife. So ile anasema ukiviona vinaelea vimeundwa. Niweza ulumu laita, niweza ulumu laita. Mwaka nani? Wewe kama mwenye wa wiki miaka 25. Pone hela yao wewe uone kale wenye miaka 30. Pone mwaka nani? Sema hali ile kana ta. Mwaka ile kana bale. Kwamba tuwe wavumilivu Tulinde ndo wazetu Kwa maana siku hizu naona kwa TV Banda siwe hali ni hata Maike enyo ha Mza huru kenyo ha Sinja bana Sinja bulimungu Na pia na jishuti mwenyeo Maike enyo ha Sinja bana Halo mza huru lisa Lisa kamara mbaka chanali So kwa maana watu hawana uvumilivu Tuombe mungu tuwe wavumilivu That we may take care of our families So kama hatukuna uvumilivu Ba hulundu kena huami ya wae. Kama familia muwezi kujivumilia. Soto naombea. Mze vumilia. Vumilia madamu wako. Jivunie madamu wako. Kambole du kuna kani kuko na. Iye hali de hali. Pia hata katika maisha ya imani. Usipokuwa na musimamu. Unaweza poteza imani. Usipokuwa na musimamu saizi. Na uvumilie. Wale zaho li wa milengo nge fuanevi. Umelala nja, wewe mamu, umelala nja Wiki muzima Ni babana, bali ilivandi, wako ni muzivero Ni omu ene hui ima Huko lawe tira hui sizinyo Na lafu mze Asubui, umeomba rozari, umeomba rozari Mungu wafungue njia Mayumu lejo, baye, sisi ya Omba mungu wafungue njia Na mze anatoka usiku saa kumu Ngazayu bana kwaol, kasi de bufu bacha apo bandri moja, maziwa box moja, unga wachakua wa wa ugali, guniya moja, kama ulukenguru chikuo chikiro pum, kare. Ne eol hoso mero zari Na lakwa na kuambia madam Hii ni kindienda chwele ni kaiba ngombe ni kauza Teha hulie Oteha na mwe umukemea Unapika amo na mukemea He Watoto wameaza kufa njaa Mwenyeo kuzimamu wanaona watu Kumina mbili kama ni mmoji Kwa hola wetila kuhisi Oteha na mwe umukemea Oteha da Lagini abu kaje pe ndeja hal. Ne baba la baba ifu kulu kongo ba kuba lida moezi. Oje ba kuba mene gomza haluka kusega suka. So kwamba tuombe mungu kama sowe wabumeli. Na pia tu seme wake kuwa mze baba kanisa wazo hicho yama ni sima tena sisi ya. Shida ziko nyumbani, watoto wako, school fees. Ne upesa habu yosi, chele kumia atatu. Wako zizi, ya bulizindu wako zizi, ya nepuzi yosi, ya chola. Na unafunga novino, nasema uombe mungu wa kufungulie njia. Umejukua biblia, umeenda misiku kwa kanisa kuomba. Wali wa ameweza kumina mbili, fulele hekwa. Wali nyo upase kwa nebe, leko enda hii, la hii hei. Na wana wazi ya chaba vili, wafupi, tena round. Amu rongoro kumufutu. Oluwezenda zimbi, wameweka chini gunia. Kafuera kubwa hii. Olulola vula hii, wanagawana pesu. Ngiri moja moja. Teni milio ni chene mleche. Wewe hii ni yako, utakula hii. Wewe ni yako. Nganaba kubwa. Wakala wali. 
ne ba hoyo wala ho chimili ono chibili muha muha kari ba ka ba ho o bo kula mo e o ba keme sikwamba tu vumilie tu linde ima maana tunamwombea pia ndugu yetu Steve Steve mwana we fo ye khalile kha oli nde bu kulundu huo ye khalile kha ngane we khalile kha ke khalile ngane ke khalile kha ke khalile kha e ali nde lisubira ali nde bu kulundu wewe eh tunamwombea azidi kuvumilia ni mvumilivu sana huyu jamaa ni mvumilivu sana na ni mvumilivu kama sabuni ya kipande wa ni mvumilivu sana so tunamwombea azidi kuvumilia ili alinde imani yake na upadri wake. Ukikuwa tena katika familia ukikuwa ma na una mzee. Na huyo mzee ameuza shamba yote na huyu la wama mapima. Hana ngoro mama mapima wanobe ya hanga si ndio basi je bozo wewe langu. Sema je pole pole mwezi mwao ndio ya hanga bado wa kuchaya. So kwamba sasa amehama huko na ameishi wiki tatu kujamuona ikifika saa kumi na mbili jioni mvue imenyesha mingi kabisa na unaona boda wanafika wanasema mama karo tumejaribu lakini tumeshindwa sema mmeshindwa nini tumejaribu kumweka kwa piko lakini haiwezekani kanywele nguli ali huvi aneki na busu na maji ya mtaro yanamsindikiza yenye kumuosha ya muluchi chwele kato wengine achivuti chivili na kwa muluchi wa chwele Ohalori Vitu magawaje Ngabukule ya wili baro nende kumukoyere ndo mwana za namuche ngamola yo no bwa kumukoyere we namusute mboko ino pole pole mbato singile miufi na wanaweka kwa 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 wili baro mtoto anavuruta lakini njia imemiohamioha yani kumiohamioha yani ndio muhamu mulizo aliye kumiohamio so njia ya kwa mimiohamio so <laughs> unabeba polepole pole, na kwa kwa wili baro na unasukuma mtoto anavuruta na unateleza alikuwa <laughs> kofi mma wa ndemelelo pad chinga kabisa tangu niangusha sukuma vizuri na kurusha kofi ndio yako mfuko na ndio kunywa na kukaza ya mko nendi yako biange umbo na sukuma na sukuma na moko leo unasukuma ambao na achana na yeye na chana na yeye ndio na kisirani yake ndio Anaona mambo bora sio sio basi so ndio ndio tunamwombea ndugu yetu Steven mwenye yako kwa hiyo wili baro ni upadri wake wale hola tamaa na wewe fo suku moru ngira ya miyo kha miyo hala kene suku ma wasi engele roho roho kusabi lakini bano bali jimbo ko chabo bali kha chaji so kwamba tuno tuwe wavumilivu so ndio tunamwombea ndugu yetu azidi kuwa mvumilivu kwamba mvumilivu ulambivu hata katika maisha ya biashara learn to persevere let's all persevere there is no success that comes on a silver platter hakuna and we keep trying so tunamwombea ndugu yetu na mabeshta wake aendelee kuvumilia ili injili ya Kristo iende mbele The second point was peace. Kumulembe. Bale bali kumulembe ko rina sina. Ndi bukana za amani. Na wakati Kristo alifufuka, zawadi ya kwanza kwa mitume ilikuwa ni amani. That was the best gift and the, the fundamental gift that Christ gave to his followers and the apostles as well. Peace bila amani so hola sio sita no haline kumlembe so hola sio sita kazi yao jirani ole mwana wewe kwa kumlembe kube na wewe so hapo ndio ile ke hali ke hali ke hali ile resolu habari na ni mbona kwenda kumlembe kwa na amani stress yani amani the prerequisite for any development it to be spiritually social so forth amani Amani ni kama chumvi unaweka kwa chakula. Na bila hiyo maisha haina ladha. So Kristo aliachia mitume amani. Walikuwa wamejifungia juu ya gorofa. Weka ile yokumulia. Bali ndio kulivale. Hata ndizeli asi anotamuzi munga aki. 
Kwa hiyo basi huri hawakuwa na amani. Kwa sababu gani waliogopa Wayahudi kwa kwamba watawakamata pia wawasulubishe vile Kristo alisulubishwa. So kwa sababu ya huo uoga walikuwa wamejifungia juu. Na kwa kujifungia juu injili haikuwa inaenda mbele, ve ikaliremuka. Una ve injili chebwe niri ndio maana Kristo alikuja na kuwapatia kile kipaji ile zawadi ya amani. Baada ya hiyo zawadi wakarelax ndio akawapa Roho Mtakatifu. Bali bavumbo hawa amao bali wasubu maliko waliawele paka dia holele mbofuesi no haline kumulem onono holas ata wa hacha wa jirani ata mai ba hukulla sa sita ande kemu kumuko droi injisti no haulile zirane de moho musani ata sita ande zuliro se de hoti dat obolu kona kosa wi no we sin do hole manya ho odi manya moho musani ata ho hota bona chisa se di se de hoti dat Lazima uwe na ama. Tirata. Ama. Mulembe bali. Dolanga ho bandu bandi. Ukiangalia watu kwa kijiji, mtu mwenye ana amani na kila mtu hananga stress. Hayo hakuwa hejuma. Karaho kama zanje kale ata hunga kara ho bivuko bale vision 2030 kumulie yango ke kala usa kama za kare lagi ni kato to hafat e mbwe gara sala gini ne ke kala ke kala esi mu sambili sabali ya hweza liwe ndigenyo ha sambili ana aman ne we ko rofa munga ki wa ho mehe bibi gwa ha ne bitano wa ho mehe ki bili yango ko kwaza kwa khabili grill si chisiro wosi ana mo wosi Waliyo wambundo hapa kozaliba tuli nzameta fadhali nzame. Wala kana wambundo ndo kwamba. Amani. Peace. Hata uwezi omba Mungu kama una amani. Ndio sababu wewe Lord yenu kama una amani. Noli mai wa mlengo mwalo manende nendo omza omwa apane kabisa roho uimbano utu kufu kwa Mungu ina vichenje bi roho utu kufu no ngola nose no oli muruke mbara utu kufu kwa Mungu roho na kasi alikumpa amani bini akabula de kanali anosa alingo te mulembe bali amani amani Imagine mtu amekualika kwake lunch hamjaonana kwa muda mrefu mwenyewe ndiye amekualika na unaenda huko ukifika kwa boma hakusalami hawaki sasa kumla anakuonyesha mlango tu unaingia na anaenda kwa jikoni anatengeneza kuku choma hamzi arera akaidia kumba kunia kabili akorera Anakuletea maziwa kila kitu nyama kila kitu iko hapa anakuwekea kwa meza anakupatia maji ya kunao una nawa unamaliza na kukula lipango nyeki miwa ke hale mlango kanja huwa kala anaanza kushapia lipanga ya miwa amekaa kwa mlango na huko huko kwa meza Oliana Moro Ewe ewe Oliana Moro Wewe utakula mota wacha Kwa sababu gani ama? Amani. Hata kama ukiishi na mzee. Ukikuwa mama mzee mwenye amekudharau. Kahule kamai kachukanio chikone. Hata kama hukulanga zenye yangu roji kilo 100 buli nyanga wa hali ongona kweli. No no kenda no chebe kero ho kalu. So kwamba zako hana story na wewe aruma ngakosa kama kwa kabili ni enyangeko lakini sarunda ngati capuchin tv forward ever backward never let us move ahead and so on
even children kuna ka kitu tunaweza kufanya ili kanisa iweze kumetameta endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki anamwambia Timotheo aliyekuwa mwana Capuchin TV forward ever backward never Let us... Let's move ahead and so on. Even children, kuna kakitu tunaweza kufanya. Ili kanisa iweze kumetameta. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV, kitambulisho katoliki.